uh, 0.5 and specialized system for 0.1. Um, and this is a possibility, of course, uh, but what we have seen is that it's a lot better to make one system that fits all because uh, the saving that you will have uh, for, from making a 0 0.5 system rather than a 0 0.1 system is very small because uh, this all comes down to scrubbing, scrubbing efficiency. So basically for an open loop uh, system that means less water for 0 0.5 while the scrubber size will remain basically the same because it's based on uh, the exhaust gas flow uh, among other things. So our solution is to have one system that fits both and you can choose between 0 0.5 mode and 0 0.1 mode. 0 0.5 mode would then decrease the power consumption uh, based on decreasing the water amount. Um, further um, customization can be done. We have special concepts for special vessels and there's also uh, possibilities to customize uh, on well redundancy to have more redundancy for added re reliability. Uh, you can have an extraction fan for eliminating back pressure. Uh, you can have a booster fan for boilers to take care of the back pressure issues you may face on um, boilers. Uh, you can have open loop water cleaning, sludge dewatering, booster pump and specialized inventory for added PM uh, removal. You can have an open loop BGP compliance. Uh, most makers use closed loop to comply with BGP, but this can also be done uh, in open loop. So, uh, this case is a very important case and uh, well, a place where a lot of owners uh, seem to well, step in a wrong direction. Um, so, for a VLCC, this would be a quite typical setup. Um, and for an operational profile of a VLCC, this would be quite typical. Um, and a lot of owners uh, are thinking initially that, well, I want the scrubber to cover everything uh, that the vessel might uh, need to do and uh, uh, to cover like a normal operation of the vessel. And that's um, basically a good idea, but to make small adjustments can have a large impact. So if you uh, notice the port condition here where you have two auxiliary boilers at 100% load, uh, this adds up to a scrubber size of 40 megawatts, um, so quite large, power consumption of 430 kilowatts, um, and you have an overcapacity in C going of 17.5 megawatts. So basically what I'm saying is that the system is dimensioned for port mode, while in C going you'll have an overdimensioned system, so you use more power than necessary and in general you'll have a much larger system that you, than you need to uh, in, in C going. To do one adjustment to this, um, you can remove one of the auxiliary boilers from the scrubbing in port. You can still choose which one you want to scrub, but one you'll have to burn, uh, burn MGO in. Um, this would typically, typically be the one that you use for inert. Um, just by doing this, you'll uh, reduce the scrubber size to 22.5 megawatts, and the overcapacity in CGO is 0 megawatts. So you have tailored the system to CGO rather than to port mode. This means, um, in total, that you will reduce the scrubber size with 44%, the scrubber footprint with 43%, scrubber height with 11%, water requirement 44%, power consumption 40%, scrubber price with 27%. So, in other words, you will never make back the difference if you uh, scrub that other boiler. You'll lose money doing it. 
Uh, when it comes to scrubber retrofitting, there's a lot of ways to do this. And um, we want to give um, basically all options. Uh, we're a company that can provide all options, uh, so we want to make everything available. Uh, everything from uh, equipment only to full turnkey. Um, we also um, we also give full flexibility, so you may pick and choose. You may have a scrubber system and basic engineering, you may have basic and detailed engineering, site uh, advisory, um, so whatever you might need, we can provide it. Um, this is a typical information flow for scrubber retrofits. Um, as you see, there's a lot of equipment and information that flows back and forth uh, between everyone involved. Um, this gives a lot of liability to the owner and uh, also um, gives a lot of work to the owner to, to be able to handle all different parties. Um, better inform information flow to, to our um, um, point of view, of course, is to let the birds land um, In that way, we can handle the equipment, the design, and the project management. Um, all this will be handled within Wurzla and we can give a retrofit package with everything needed to the owner uh, or directly to a repair yard or even to take on a full turnkey. Uh, and this makes the information flow and in the installation process uh, a bit less painful. Um, we did, uh, we partly did this for this vessel, which was a vessel that we uh, retrofitted uh, in uh, less than two weeks. Um, quite demanding with uh, such a size installation that we had here, and also that we had water treatment. Uh, so we did a full GA uh, of the vessel to uh, your system to, to begin with. Um, where uh, you can see uh, the uh, water treatment system in form of a tank on uh, the right side here and of course the uh, feeding water pumps on each side of the vessel and the scrubbers here. Um, so what we did was to build a skid with the scrubbers um, that we prefabricated so uh, when the vessel went to dock we removed the silencers and we lifted in the scrubbers where the silencers used to be, which um, made for a quite smooth process. For a merchant vessel, this can be made even simpler. Um, with a traditional installation, what you would do is to tailor make all the equipment or tailor make basically the existing vessel to fit the equipment and you would place the equipment in various places in the ships where you can find space and you would typically have to modify quite a lot uh, inside the vessel in order to make this, uh, this fit. Um, a better solution to, to our opinion is to prefabricate a module uh, that contains everything you need for the scrubbing system including the scrubber um, inside this, this module um, that you lift on board the vessel and fit on the vessel when the vessel goes to port. So the only thing that you would need to modify inside the vessel is piping and the seawater pumps. Um, this makes the whole process a lot quicker and hopefully a lot less painful. Um, our main market up until now has been uh, new builds. We're expecting the retrofit market to really take off, uh, well, any day. And we uh, are working on some very big retrofit contracts these days. Um, this was uh, one of the uh, first DLGCs to ever be fitted with um, a scrubber at uh, HHI. Um, <coughs> We have um, basically 
all kinds of, uh, of vessels in our portfolio as per today. Um, we have the largest cruise vessel in the world with the largest cargo system in the world. We have um, container vessels, tankers, row rows, bulkers, cruise row bikes, trawlers. Um, and in short, we have the longest reference list in the world by far. We have 177 installations, that's 177 vessels, uh, 273 servers. Um, if we were allow allowed to disclose our latest contract, uh, the number of installations would be far more than 200. This will be disclosed later this year, but uh, in short, the market is picking up and is picking up fast.